afternoon and welcome to the race course grounds as CHNFC are hosting CRNFC, the traditional rivals. CRNFC, of course, in their centenary year and uh, CHNFC, the older club just across the road. And uh, they will be playing each other in what uh, used to be the most looked forward to feature, of course, in the rugby calendar way back in the day until, of course, Candy came along and then CRNFC Candy was one of the uh, most looked forward to features as well. And CHNFC last in the year 2000 and they'll be looking to uh, try and get up there uh, as close as they can to the top of the table this time around and uh, that's going to be one step closer if they manage to win today it's going to be a really hard fought battle especially with the conditions probably favoring one or the other side we are yet to find out which we'll have a look at that as well with Dinuk Baskaran who joins me in the commentary box good to be back with you after quite a while uh, Dinuk yeah, good to be back with you, Shohanaka. Looks like it's most, uh, almost a couple of years ago that we uh, were sharing a commentary box. Uh, and lovely to be back in Colombo. Uh, as we just start uh, commentary, we uh, had the rain. It's also coming down. So CHNFC from Udara Jayapala, Prasad Madhushanka, the strike scorer, Dushman, the Priyadarshan, experience, have locks prop moving across. Surya Durangoda, no experience, but an outstanding Isipatana player. Venura Kodagoda, Ramidu Hetia Racha, Yoshita Rajapaksa makes his return uh, to the number seven jersey alongside his Tomian teammate Sudarshan Mudutantri at number eight. Avishka Lee, Hirusha Netmina, Ovin Hetia Rachi is on the wing. Dinuk and his partner in Dinuk Amara Singh and uh, Johan Ogbebo. The uh, Janindu Dilshan is at uh, on the right wing, and Avant Lee, the other twin, will join his brother, who's at half back at full back. Substitutes: Malinga Shashan, Chehan Silva, Johan Fernando, Hirun Gunaratna, Vishwa Kiriyal, Malik Shan Pereira, Malit Mihisara, and Kilan Shaman. Interesting lineup there, uh, Dinuk. We'll talk a little bit more about that as soon as we see the CRNFC team sheet. But good to see the crowds turning up uh, once again for this Nippon Paints uh, Rugby League. And here's a CRNFC team, Peter Wright, Senora Pereira, alongside Supun Vannukura Surya, who comes back into the starting lineup. Ashan Darling, Shehan Adhikare in place of Gayan Jayamana today. Suhiru Anthony, the experienced player in uh, the number five jersey. Radishan Achinta has been having a good season. Vagi Shavira Singh, uh, Ravin De Silva is starting at number eight ahead of um, uh, Lasindu Ishan. And coming to the so the captain partner, Senduka Naneakara, who will need to contribute a little today. Ruchira Ekanayaka, who scored two tries last week. Manilka Ruberu at number 12. Chatra Seniratna, the kicker, at number 13. Gamunu Chethi hasn't seen much of the ball this season. Hopefully, he'll get a little bit more of it today. And Zubair Dore is uh, up in the last line of defense, and he'll be looking to contribute from the back as well. So two very interesting lineups, some very talented young players, Dinuk, on both teams. And looking at the CH uh, midfield as well, you've got Dinuk. Kamara Singer in there, big boy in the terms of Ovin Hetti Arachi on one wing. You, we all know exactly what um, Johnny Dudilshan can do. So it's going to be uh, the CR bench, I would think. And there were some good names on that bench there that might make the difference in this team. Yeah, it looks like it, uh, Shanaka. And looks like it's a tactical uh, change to bring in Lashin Dudilshan in the second half to have an impact uh, in this game. Uh, they're starting off uh, with a... Uh, Ravin De Silva at number eight, not his usual position. He's a second row forward, uh, usually. Uh, so that's going to be very interesting to see. And uh, while they were warming up, it was uh, nice and sunny, a little bit of overcast. Now the rains have come. I just walked across the ground. It, the ground conditions was already soft uh, in the afternoon. So it looks like uh, it will get even softer. And one uh, with the big engine will, uh, of course, will have uh, some advantage going in. Well, this ground is uh, really a difficult one to play on, uh, Dinuk, as you know, because it's very, very uh, soft turf underfoot, which means that there's a give on this ground. And the soggier it gets, the more that give impacts you. But one thing that's going to do is it's going to make the ball stop when you kick it as well. So CRFC have kickers in the place of Tenukanane uh, Akkara, Chatra Seneviratna, Manika Ruberu can kick, and also uh, Zubair at the back and put the boot to the ball. So they have a few more kickers available. That might be where uh, things change a little bit if the heavens really open out. It's fine for the moment, just a little bit of a drizzle, but apart from that, it's going to be a really tense affair because I think these back lines really want to prove something to each other, don't they? 
Yeah, looks like it's a very, very talented back line. Uh, Chatura Seniviratna at 13 is a little bit of a concern up against, uh, of course, a young uh, Joan Ogbeba. But other than that, they very, uh, uh, you know, fast feet on those uh, back lines. And that CH will definitely test the CR and FC back uh, line today. Uh, not a line that will kick a little too much. They'll, they'll love to run at each other, but uh, everything to play for here at uh, a race course today. Certainly do. Johan Ogbor up against Chatra Seniviratna. A bit of experience for Seniviratna as the uh, younger Ogbebo brother. But of course, Dinuk Kamarasinga against Manuka Ruberu. That's going to be a really interesting battle. Dinuk will, of course, win the size battle, but Ruberu is a very talented player. Nice to see him back from injury in the red jersey. Owen Hetiarachi want to look out for coming in off his wing. Uh, then he'll be looking for a bit of work. I don't really see, understand why uh, CHNFC are not using him alongside the camera singer in the centers uh, because uh, that big midfield can really cause problems for oppositions. But of course, they have their reasons which they will be seeing at training. But uh, if the weather holds out, I think this is going to be a pretty fast game. And and uh, we should see some interesting tries being scored. And I think it's probably going to come down to a little bit of individual brilliance as CRNFC for the first time in a long time, a second in the points table. And they will definitely want to hold on to that position in their centenary year. Yeah, definitely. It's a big year for them. Uh, the CRNFC 7 is also coming up later on in this year, uh, celebrating their centenary year, like you said, Shanaka. And that uh, candy game would have been a killer for them to go down uh, the, as they had everything other than... Uh, uh, other than themselves to blame for in that game for not playing the game and uh, you know playing around the game so that is something that they will n not do today if they have learned from that mistake of course Gihan Yatavara the man uh, who will be holding on to the whistle today as we have a young ball boy who is uh, running in that's always a lovely sight to see, isn't it? Yes, it's wonderful to have kids in and around the game. These are things that they'll remember for the rest of their lives. Uh, Dinuk being uh, able to hand the ball over to their heroes, just coming out of the tunnel with them. We saw that in the recently concluded Football World Cup as well. As uh, Gihan Yatavara just takes his final count of the players here at the race course. It's a blue ribbon clash this weekend of the two Colombo 7 clubs in this Nippon Paints Rugby League as CHNFC kickoff and see gather in the form of this Silva, was it? Uh, in fact, it was the wing three quarter. I think it was Yasas who might have picked that one up. We'll tell you that in a moment. See, are putting boot to ball early on, and that's uh, a Vli from the CH fullback, Chatra Seneviratna will now try and put this one into touch, but no, he also goes straight down the middle of the field. So CH's uh, counter-attack game is something that they'll be looking for. Number 11 is uh, Ovin Hetiarachi, and it looks like he leaves the ball on the floor. So not a great first touch from the uh, Thomian schoolboy, who represented Sri Lanka in the kicking battle. I think uh, CI in that battle have a lot of kickers in place. They could kick from any part of the field uh, from 10 to 15. So that is something that uh, they will uh, try and test the CH uh, backs today. And like you said, Ovin Hetiarchi has come a long way since we saw him in the first 15, first year. And uh, running for the young lad has uh, put on a bit of weight as well. Yes, he really has packed on the muscle, and that's good to see from a Sri Lanka point of view as well. And uh, early penalty going to CRNFC, and the referee finding there that CH were walking back. It is a tactic that has been used very successfully as long as rugby is being played. Uh, they look for players to just walk back and just try and um, destabilize the front uh, row of the other team. But referee Gihan Yatavara was wise to it. And Yoshita Rajapaksa so just questioning what exactly that was for. And he's been given an explanation. Uh, it's quite dangerous, isn't it? Uh, one at full force and one pulling back. Uh, yeah, a tactic sometimes fails because if you're not bound properly, then you 
tend to lose your feet and neck injuries can crop up but if you are if your bind is good then you can do a little more by pulling the opposition front row Sierra FC looking to get early points on the board just settle their nerves a little bit it's a good 50 meter kick with the angle shouldn't be a problem in terms of distance for Chatura Seniratna but accuracy might not well it is a brilliant kick in fact from Seniratna you can see why he's in the team whether he's in the ideal position is a different question but you can see what he brings and that's a really unnecessary three points for CHNFC to concede they will really not be happy with that neither will their coaching staff yeah he was uh, kicking uh, well off the 50 meter line in the warm ups chaturas and viratna has a big boot on him since school days well he's with the wind in the staff so they've uh, chosen to use it use it wisely good tackle that time by ogbe bo Johnny the Dilshan, in fact, in the number 13 jersey, although he's on the wing. And uh, the referee seeing another penalty straight in from the side, he says. And doesn't want the game to be played too quickly. Prasad Madhushankar took it and went. Number one coming from side. Three. Good opportunity, uh, Shanaka, for CHNFC to hit back immediately. And this couple of those restart, the uh, kickoff and this restart, uh, no, Shanaka, the CHNFC defenders were up on the CR face and a good hard tackle coming in them and pushing them back Captain. at least between uh, two to okay. five okay. meters. Okay. And that is not going to give forward in. momentum in your kickoff. Surprising to see that uh, CR have not put a number on that uh, restarts. Absolutely, Adinuk, and I think Johnny the Dilshan can uh, count these three points as his own if uh, Hirusha Sampath is able to kick this one over because it was a really good, well timed, aggressive tackle that led to that, which is what forced the CRNFC uh, ruck, uh, the players joining the CRNFC ruck, to come in from an offside position from the side. So it really is these little things that help your team. So making aggressive tackles always a good thing. And uh, it's 3-all with just about uh, 30 seconds in between the two three-pointers. And Hirusha Sampath, the former Kingswoodian, adds or gets CHNFC on the scoreboard. So it's three points all, nothing in it with five minutes played. Hirusha Sampath playing at uh, fly half, played scrum half in school, had a super fly half in his keeper. A good set of uh, talent. King Sudians, after a very long time, came out of the season. Unfortunately, couldn't complete it. Yes, they did uh, look aside to watch. Very brave players. It's Lee. I say of the touchline early on from under his post, so it doesn't get a lot of distance. And CRNFC will have the first line out of the game just outside the opposition 22. Has been a bit of an Achilles heel, but uh, for CRNFC fans, it has looked like the lineups have been improving game to game, Dinuk, so it will be better than it was last week. Different S throw in Supun Varnakula Surya. Supun has not been able to find the starting lineup. He does so today. So Iru Anthony is the target. And well cleaned up that time by the hard-working Ravin De Silva. Starting in the number eight jersey today. Good defense from CH up very quickly, as you would expect from Sudarshana Mututantri. Tenukanani Akara. Here's Gamunu Chetia joining the line, and it's Murshid Zubair giving the ball off to Ruchir Ekanayak. And the threes are forced to ruck there. Ball still available. CRNFC standing and passing. So not getting a lot of go forward. Kavindu de Costa. He's got forward Get runners back. on his outside. That's Vagesha Virasinga taking it almost up to the 22. Radish, Radishan Achinta. Lovely run by him. Bulldozing the first tackler. It's a great ball and lovely hands. CRNFC have a man over. Taken down was uh, Ravin De Silva. They still have 
the ball in hand. So it's been a few phases from CR. This is good to see for the red shirts. Want to try and keep it a little bit close now with the five meter line looming. They'll want to get there and then use their big forwards. Here's a little bit of space now. Lovely tackle that time again from Johnny Dudilshan. CH flying up in defense. Their line speed has been excellent and beautifully done, but Yoshita Rajapaksa has done it illegally. You can see he's frustrated because he thought he had rights to the ball, but there was no clear release, and I think referee Ottawa was right on the spot there. Good passage play by CRNFC. Yes, the ball uh, has gone to ground. The CH player is still right on top of him, so there is no clear roll away from that tackler. And there is, uh, was no opportunity for the ball carrier to present that ball, and that's why the penalty is conceded. But a good passage of play for CRNFC. Shanaka, lovely touches from Supunwarna Kulasuri. A couple of quick passes standing in at first receiver, putting his backs into space. Then you had uh, Murshid uh, Zubair, uh, sorry, ex ex Durey. Zubair Durey, who uh, again had a lovely touch to put his uh, wings in space. Ravin De Silva playing on the left corner. Good continuity from CR, and they would want to convert that continuity into points. Much easier kick for Chathura Saniviratne and he makes no mistake as CR go ahead on the scoreboard. So these are good kicks to take early nerves a little bit and make sure your hard work gets rewarded, uh, Dinuk, because it would have seemed like to somebody watching outside, why don't they just keep going for it? But allow the defense to settle and it's always important just to accumulate points like it is in a cricket match. Uh, talking about cricket match is a big one. Historical game tonight uh, from Rajkot. I'm eagerly waiting to rush back to watch that. It certainly will be everything to play for. Dasun Shanaka has shown what he can do with the bat, and India will be wary of that Sri Lankan lower middle order. But let's get to that after this game is done and dusted. Looks like there was a knock on. There's a bit of a volleyball spike there, I thought from the chasing CH player. Kickoffs or restarts has been a problem for CNFC in this game. No one uh, putting a mark onto that ball. Uh, three three uh, kickoffs and uh, none of those have been taken cleanly and uh, has got forward momentum, which is very important for the clearance kickers to come into play. You notice this in the candy game as well, didn't you, Dinuk? As soon as they scored, they allowed candy right back into the game because of a restart. And it looks like an area of their game that they need to work on. Coach Luke, no doubt, will be taking notes. Good scrum that time from CR. But not good enough, says the referee. He's saying the prop was coming down on his knees, Soiru Anthony. Gets the briefing from the referee and walks dejectedly back. Looks like it's going to be a ping pong match more than a rugby match, Dinuk, uh, with uh, both teams exchanging penalties. And within a few minutes after each other, uh, that's going to be a little concerning because if this continues in the dying stages of the game, then of course uh, it is going to put a lot of pressure. And one team would like to run away off this uh, lead that they're trying to take, Hirusha Sampat. Just outside the 22 should be a regulation kick for him. Looks like a very competitive uh, Nippon Paint uh, Rugby League this time, uh, Shanaka. All those teams have uh, made some good recruitment, good talent has spread across uh, the eight clubs and uh, it is going to be very, very interesting as uh, Sampat puts that kick in between the posts and uh, the score now is 6-all. Uh, well, 12 minutes gone and we've got 12 points aggregated, 6 apiece for each team. So CH will be very happy after being under a lot of pressure just a few moments ago to be able to come back and have the same thing to show for it. 
as the CRNFC team who have had all the ball. So CR will need to start doing a lot better at their restarts to make sure that they don't concede points just as soon as they score them. Hanging kick. Sarshan Muditantra goes off. The bustling run of his. Still going strong, the former Thomian back rower, Sri Lanka captain. Ball's been charged down, but might fall kindly to CH. Taken by Zubair. Chaturasen Ivaratna will run at the opposition. Puts a quick dummy in, and now into space. Zubair is following up. And it looks like it's going to be the first score of the game for Murshid Zubair. Handed off the ball to the onrushing Chatura Senivrat in a lovely little switch. And Chatura with that individual brilliance we talked about before the game, the little dummy to get into space. There it is, a little show and go. Completely foxed Owen Hetty Arachi and Dinuk Amrasinghe. Amrasinghe got back for the tackle, but not before Murshid Zubair was able to come up in a good supporting line. And the first try of the game for CRNFC and it looks like we're just going to be exchanging scores uh, Dinuk if this continues. <laughs> yeah that's how exactly it looks like isn't it? We, we spoke of Tatur Sen Viratna's uh, concern of playing at 13 but looks like he's uh, more of uh, on the wing fullback trying to play the counter-attacking game has uh, put a lot of pressure on CHNFC on the location. Zubair and Sen Viratna working together a lovely little one-two breaking the First line of defense and a lovely offload on the tackle. So lovely suck in and pass there by Seniviratna. A good pop pass as well so that Zubair could run at pace, which carried him over the line. And uh, Seniviratna, who created that try, also converts it. Well, he's got all the points. Well, almost all the points. He created the five-pointer for Zubair. And has got all the points off the tee as well. So Chatra Senevaratna will want to end his game as well as he started it. So it's important that he doesn't get complacent. He has a bit of a tendency to do that sometimes. So it's important that he stays controlled. And this is Murshid Zubair who scored that try. Former Wesley skipper. Seems to be enjoying his rugby at fullback. Trying to create a little bit more for his team. And Hirusha Sampat kicks off for what seems to be the umpteen time in just a few moments. And as you said, Dinuk, it's again a really badly botched kickoff. And there's two knock-ons. And they'll come back for the first one. Yeah, CH smart on the education, uh, Shanakal. They knew that CR is not very good at restarts. So that made, they made sure that they just put that kick just above the 10-meter li line so that they have an opportunity to contest. Sia was nowhere ready for that. Yes, they had a lifted player up, but a good leap from the CH defender uh, managed to tap that all ball off the CR uh, lifter. So interesting tactic here. I've seen Shamli Nawaz use it with St. Thomas's a few seasons ago, but it looks like uh, Lee is going to be feeding it from the right side of the scrum. Doesn't get the opportunity because of the free kick. But as you know, Scrum halves have traditionally fed the scrum from the left side, but this time Dushmanta Priyadarshana is, or Prasad Chaturanga rather, he's going to be expected to hook with his wrong leg. But he's got that rock that is Dushmanta Priyadarshana on his tight head side, so why not? Priyadarshana up against the young Senora Pereira, he's a big lad. Plenty of to and fro between the front rowers and the referee. It's a highly contested area of the game so far. The Tantri goes off the back. Straight in on the angle. Beautiful run from uh, Janindu Dilshan. We've uh, lost visuals here, but we'll come back to you.
Check, check. Apologies, we are coming back live. We just had to uh, deal with a little bit of a power outage. It's the power cut in this part of the world. CHNFC now trying to put some phases together. Good tackle that time from Ravin De Silva. It's slow rock ball. Lee Sampat. Pass was very flat. Mutantri. Dummy is in but goes into the contact himself. see what this penalty was for and this is where Vagisha Virasinghe needs to be really careful he can't be talking to the referee he's on his feet he has absolutely no rights to play that ball with his feet he's off his feet rather absolutely no right to play that ball so it's a very clear penalty referee Atavara has correctly pinged it so Vera Singha must even if it was unintentional must realize that he did something wrong and retire immediately CRNFC certainly don't want a repeat of what happened against Candy where they got into arguments with the referee in that game so CH have the attacking line out now just inside the 40 meter mark the highly uh, sp spoken uh, back line of CH and FC have not got emotion so far. And this is a great opportunity for that. It's a five-man line out from CH looking to unleash the skipper, Prasad Chaturanga. Good little offload from Yoshita Rajapaksa there as Uspanta Priya Jarasana waits, but instead taken into contact by Venura Kodagoda that time. Avantali, it's again slow ball for CH. Really need to get a little bit of faster ball. Jumping into that tackle was Ogbabor. Koda got her again. Lee. Yoshita Rajapaksa. And the ball went forward in the tackle, so move comes to an end there but good enterprise shown for ch once again you can see that uh, the backs are really anxious to run onto it really hard isn't it johnny the dilshan samuel ogbebo really smashing that ball and also good running lines isn't it shanaka you saw that uh, off the new camera singer ogbebo is uh, running off a lovely inside angle and that's why he cut through in from there on they recycled onto the far side but unfortunately that knock-on happened, but uh, good skills shown by both these teams. Uh, passing off the tackle, taking that ball hard into the line. CH uh, have shown a little bit more dominance in terms of defense. Yes, their line speed has been really good. Lots of eager young players. So Ogba Boris just out of school. Hetty Arachi is just out of school. Hirusha Sampat just out of school. And uh, the Lee brothers haven't been around for too long. It's only Dinu Kamara Singh has been in the club scene for a few years, so they've got plenty of energy, these CH youngsters. You can see that they're really keen to get up in the face of their neighbors. No stability for the feed yet. Yadavara asks Costa to wait, and he does. That's taken back inside the 22, so he can't kick it out on the full, but Lee lets it bounce. And we'll look to find touch. It's not a lot of touch that he finds. 
but probably made an error in letting that ball bounce. Avantali. Yeah, once again, a good uh, attacking kick, you should say, on that occasion. Put the ball because of the wind that CRNFC is playing with. It just took beyond uh, uh, Lee. So he just kept on backpedaling, ran sideways, just like to take a cricket uh, catch. But it kept on moving further and further away from him. Gave a little bit more time for the CR defense to come, come at him. And then that cost the distance on the kick. Yes, it's a fairly strong wind. Just looking outside from our commentary position, Dinuk, that the wind is picking up as well. So CR and FC will have this to contend with in the second half because CH and FC will be with the wind at their back. It's uh, referee says you can't do that. Doesn't elaborate much further. Looked like it was a crooked throw in any event, so ball would probably have gone back to CH regardless of the jump. That's a huge mistake. It was a free kick and it was kicked out on the full. It was outside the 22 so the play comes back. Well yes, that is a loss of, of concentration, isn't it? bit of inexperience as well. You can't kick a free kick out on the pool. It's a short arm penalty. Beautiful jump that time in defense by CHS Ravindu Hettiarachi. Got the ball and tried to run it out of their 22. Tackled by Gamunu Chetia. The referee will say no advantage and they'll come back for the penalty. For a shoulder charge, he says. We'll do that again. So this is dangerous territory, um, Dinuk. Soiro Anthony is the pack leader, so he's entitled to talk to the referee, but they can't be going up to him every whistle because they will lose concentration. Hirusha Sampath will get to kick this one out on the full because it is a straight-arm penalty, not a short-arm penalty. And CH will get that gain. So CH going a little short again. They've got Surya Durangara, an outstanding lineout jumper, but they're not using him in this lineout. Well, they are, in fact. He's at number two. Well, one at the front by Durangara. Part of that champion Isipatana team from last year. Ogbebo looks for Lee, his former schoolmate, if not teammate, because they were a few years apart. Janin Dudilshan helps with taking that ball just over the 40 meter territory. Lee puts it back to Hirusha Sampath, looks for the raking kick, but just outside the line. So Sampath has. Not found touch. Murshid Zubair wants to try and make something happen, but nobody in his team seemed to be on the same wavelength. Prasad Madhushankar saw that and he just kept on following uh, Zubair on that occasion. This is a very hard ground to kick, isn't it, Shanaka? You don't get a lot of uh, guidance from the advertising boards. Uh, and the ground is not something that you will see the touchline from one corner to another. Absolutely right, Dinuk, because you generally see the hoardings which give you a marker. But here, you really are kicking pretty blind into where you expect the mark to be, the touchline to be. Gamunu Chetia with a little bit of a mistake, but not too much damage and you can see that the wind is really at the back of these CR players the kicks going very long so it's a good toss for CHNFC to win I'm sure I'm assuming they won the toss and chose to play with the wind in the second half because that would be the sensible thing to do
about the line out has deserted CRNFC again. They look especially with the wind. Yes, and they're going into a five man line out, a four man line out, and right throughout that has been the case. Then Kanani Akara with a lovely little long ball out to Robin De Silva who steps out and then steps back in. Then Kanani Akara. Gamunu Chetia, he is Murshid Zuber. Should probably have kept the ball in hand. But Richard Ekanayaka needed to cut back in. Zuber gave it to Ekanayaka with not a lot of grass left before the touch line, but he really needed to duck his head and cut back into the field of play, keep the ball alive for another phase. Go just kept on and Ogbeba made sure that he uses the touch line as an extra defender and pushed him into touch. So good read by the center, good uh, drift defense as well for a 13, very important. So Ogbebo in his first year is showing a lot of promise. Good composure as well. Dodangoda fakes beautifully and goes up the second time. Looks like he might have played some basketball in his time. Surya Dodangoda. The box kick goes straight up in the air. And looks like there is a knock forward and the knock forward is a penalty. Yoshita Rajapaksa takes it forward and now gives it to Agbebor. Another box kick from Lee. It wasn't the best one. Zuber ducking out of one tackle, ducking out of two tackles. Dragged down just short of the 50 meter line. It's Manuel Karuberu. A little chip kick might have gone a little too far. And Avanta Lee that time takes it and puts it straight up in the air. So it's going to be a difficult one, but taken well. That time by Manuel Karuberu it was. Hirusha Sampat now looking for a little bit of space. But Zuber has it covered and will take the free kick and just slow things down. That was a bit of an untidy passage of play there, Dinuk. Yeah, both teams uh, conceding advantages to eat each other. And in the meantime, both teams had opportunities, even on that last occasion where uh, Lee put that kick behind uh, to Zuber and Zuber called Mark. CH had plenty of runners on the outside and CR was just coming out of that attack and defense pattern towards the near side here. And had they gone through the hands, it would have been uh, problems for CR. You're watching this live coverage on www.adsart.lk. That's A D S A R Rugby Tuskers on YouTube. Both captains getting a very uh, long talking to there from referee Gihan Yatavar, Prasad Madhushanka, and Kavindu de Costa being asked to convey the contents of that message to their respective teams. And uh, they get a bit of a breather, both teams. Uh, just about half an hour gone on the clock here. They take a breather, Shanaka, big year, isn't it? The Rugby World Cup 2023 happening in France. Of course, the favourites, also the French this time, going in. Well, now that England have chosen to part ways with Eddie Jones, I think uh, France out and out favourites. Of course, South Africa are a team that you can never discount. All the big boys in the squad, just getting more and more big boys. Jasper Wieser coming into that, that squad as well. So. Mututantri off the back. Nobody seems to want to tackle him. Eventually they do. Vagisha Veera Singer coming off the flank. Again, really slow ball from CH. And this time, Avish Kali chooses to put it high up into the air. And Gamunu Chetia, for the first time in a long time, gets the ball in his hands. And here's Manil Karubero. uses the fend. Uses another fend. And that tackle is a little high from Hirusha Sampath. But Rubero makes a lot of good ground. Here it is from Tenukanane Akkar, a lovely long ball out, but it's to Supun Vannakula Surya, probably the last man that needed to be in that position. And the referee has spotted an infringement. He says the entire CH defensive line was offside. 
So really good run for Manil Karuberu. Haven't seen that in a long time from the former AC Patana captain. Suffered a very bad knee injury, but it's good to see him coming back to form. Yeah, he's a very, very good player, Ruberu. Also, uh, captaining AC Patana for two years, played in that center from 16 years old. And that was uh, a glimpse of what we used to see of uh, Manilka Ruberu. A very strong lad, uh, has been exposed uh, to the first 15 level at a very young age and now in the club scene as well. And showed a lot of pace as well on that occasion. So now the opportunity we had uh, the lead really changing hands quite a few times in the first 15 minutes of the game and the second 15 minutes of the game has been pretty quiet. So this is the first time that there's an opportunity for points for either team. And it uh, looks like the easiest kick of the game has been scuffed by Chatra Seneratna. He can't believe it either. So this is what I was talking about. Uh, you know, he's playing well and suddenly he just loses his concentration and uh, makes mistakes up that level and hopefully for him it won't come back to bite the team later on. Yeah, if that would have gone, that is a 10-point cushion and they could have afforded to take a few risks in that uh, next six minutes going into half time, which would have got another s seven points possibly as CH make a change. So anyone watching, especially the uh, CH fans, will need to remember that it's a wound that's been keeping them back so far in their own half. And CH mm -hmm. will have to deal with that in the second half, and CH will have the benefit of that win. Little grubber kick put through, and uh, Dore now puts the boot to the ball, and Gamunu Chetia has a little bit of space. Gamunu Chetia, it's a big in goal. Gamunu Chetia, does he get there? Yes, he does. And referee Gihan Yatavara says the try is scored. So Murshid Zubair scored one and just had the presence of mind to put that ball to the boot and bring his winger, his pacey winger, into the game. That's a little second chip kick. And this is Gamun Uchetia. Hirusha Sampath was looking over his wrong shoulder. He looked over his left shoulder and Gamunu Chethi was steaming up outside his right shoulder and that's a try for all money. Takes the advertising board with him. And look who's happy, the little kids, the football kids on the back because that was just a little bit of football skill shown there by both these players. Zubair and Gamunu Chethi would have been watching quite a lot of football, of course, uh, during the last couple of months. But to keep that rugby ball in control was some skill. And at pace, Chetia was running at full tilt there. And Zubair had the presence of mind to put the kick behind the last line of defense as Seneviratna this time slots that in between the posts beautifully. Now CR could afford to take another risk and try to score another point, another try here just before half time, which will. Uh, Blow a huge dent on uh, the CH uh, players' confidence coming back, even though they will have to play with the wind. Uh, Shanaka, the wind also has died down. And that's why you see the CH kick on that occasion. Just before that, going deep into the CR half. So yes, it has died down. Uh, Dinoke, you're absolutely right. But I would say that wind was worth a good 10 points, maybe 10 to 12 points. So still, CR and FC find themselves in the black as they say, but really have to make sure that they get the restarts and the line out sorted. It's two areas where CH will be looking to explore. Not a great jump from uh, Senora that time, but gets the ball under control, which is all that's needed. That time taken by Hirusha Sampat, and the referee will say that there was a player in front of the kicker. It'd be good to see that one again because Shatra Seniratna did take it from right in the pocket. And if his chasers didn't retire, then that's a big problem. And it's an unnecessary. So 
every time CNFC have scored, you know, they've allowed CHNFC back into the game. Yes, absolutely. And that's uh, an error that the kicker will not like. And of course, the forwards have to blame, their, blame themselves for being a little too lazy and starting, starting to jog towards the opposition. As now CHNFC will want to score or have something on the scoreboard as the wins have picked up once again. So interesting the way that they've lined up. Ogbebo has gone to number 12. Just outside his fly half. Johnny the Dilshan has come in off his wing to number 13. So he'll probably be looking to run this ball as Sudarshan Mututantri is taken back in the face of good line speed from Vagisha Veerasinghe. CHNFC will have to reset. Here's Dushmanta Priyadarshana, man who scored many tries against this opposition, but in the pink and chocolate jersey. Prasad Madhushanka as well, an old boy of this CRNFC club, but has been a leading try scorer for a couple of seasons at the back of the mall of whichever club he's been playing for, whether it's been Havis or CH. Yoshita Rajapaksa picks up and takes it finally inside the 22 for CH, although he's driven back. Lee. Lots of people calling the shots here by the looks of things. It's Jayapala, Udara Jayapala who takes it into the 22 and that ball is knocked forward so all that good work for no reason and Vagi Shavira Singha is shown to the bin no idea what that was for he may have said something See a player down as well. We'll have to wait for that uh, referee's call on why that uh, yellow card was given. So in the meantime, Shankar, we saw that uh, CH defense was lined up. Well, let's see if we can pick up something here. Is Vagisha? Okay. Not sure what he's deemed to have done there, but the referee was on the spot. Had a better angle than our camera and obviously saw something or heard something perhaps that didn't please him. So the wind really has picked up Dinuk, so can expect this to be sporadic during the course of the second half. You can rest assured that CHNFC are going to want to try and exploit that. Hirusha Sampath will be very relieved to be playing to the opposite end of the field. Yeah, three points. Uh, they will take this and go into half time. Uh, Shanaka, they would love to have this win behind them for the next 40 as well. Because like you said, if that is the case, then that 10 point def deficit is nothing in this game. Because Sia will have to find exit uh, ways to exit from their own half in the second. So it's good to see that CH are not panicking here. Even though it's 20 points to six, they know that a couple of kicks will bring them within range. And with the wind at their back, I'm sorry to keep going on like a broken record, but it is a really important factor in this game, the conditions, especially with the rain clouds looming. And just getting these three points on the board, getting it to 20 points to nine is going to make a huge difference for how this CH team feels at halftime. Yes, absolutely. Hirusha Sampat scoring that penalty. CH also would like to have a bit more ball in hand as well. Uh, they've got a couple of good, very good platforms to attack off the scrum. But both the times, uh, Sudarshan Muthu Tantri has been caught running sideways. And that's why Ogbebo has been standing there for Sudarshan Muthu Tantri to hit and make that first line or break that first line of defense. But that has not been working, so they need to find something else as Seniviratna restarts. It's a good hanging kick, and Muthu Tantri is shepherded into touch, but that will be half time. And it's CRNFC leading 20 points to 9 as uh, CHNFC host their hometown rivals. 
in what is going to be a very important class to decide the fate of this uh, Nippon Paints Rugby League tournament as uh, the teams going into the tunnels have a little bit of a disagreement with each other. Not sure exactly what that was about, but I'm sure no love will be lost as they come back out for the second half. So 20 points to 9, CRNFC leading CHNFC at the race course grounds. You're live on adzart.lk and Sri Lanka Rugby Tuskers YouTube channel in this Nippon Paints Rugby League. Highlights of the game so far, Chatura Seniviratna scored the first points of the game. Three-pointer, lovely kick from just outside the 40-meter mark. CH hit back immediately through Hirusha Sampath for three points again. Then Sia once again through Chatura Seniviratna scored another three. And then Hirusha Sampath once again for CH and FC scored another three points. Then after a, a little bit of... Uh, Swings of pendulum, a lovely bit of play, a lovely counter-attack from Zubair and Seniviratna scoring that try. And Seniviratna then uh, putting that uh, kick away. And this was some skill at pace shown by both Zubair and uh, Chetia. So Zubair has been a player to watch in this game, has been turning around the CH defense as well. And uh, Hirusha Sampath putting that uh, last three-pointer to uh, end the first half at uh, 20 points to 9 uh, here at the race course of the Nippon Paints Rugby League 2022-23 coming to you live on adsart.lk and Sri Lanka Rugby Tuskers page from the race course. Uh, we'll see you after the turnaround. The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. Life is meant to be lived to the fullest. Live with joy. Live with nature. Live with hope. Live with trust. Live with dreams. Live with happiness. Inspire your life with colors. Nippon Paint. Play to win the game. We'll take care of your aches and pains. Sidale Per Spray. Trusted for eight decades for quick relief from all aches and pains. Nippon Paints. Live with colors. Then order a stark shane. Nippon. Pets. Tvenusas. Honda Materina. Nippon paints. Live with colors.
It's halftime here at the race course grounds and CRNFC are leading CHNFC by 20 points to 9. We have a humdinger of a match uh, in the next 40 minutes expected. I have two gentlemen to speak to in this halftime uh, show and with me first is Mr. Shane Dullava of the Tournament Committee of Sri Lanka Rugby. Shane, you must be very happy with how this uh, tournament is progressing, especially this game looks like it's being very close and everybody in with a chance of winning this. Yes, I, I must say that the tournament is very well conducted and thanks to the sponsors as well as our office, uh, SRFU officials and things like that, it's very well uh, conducted and all the teams are doing very well at the moment. It's evenly poised. It uh, looks like recruitment has been good by these teams in the off-season, seeing a lot of good young players and that bodes well for Sri Lanka rugby as well. Yes, that's a boost for all teams because all the young talent is there as well as the seniors are also getting together and it's a very uh, uh, well-conducted tournament, I would say. Yeah. All clubs are very happy by that. Yes, I think you have to uh, pat yourself on the back as a tournament committee. It's a lot to have been done in a short time. Uh, Shane, thank you for that. And uh, the gentleman who is responsible for being able to be here, Mr. Neman Tabe Singh of uh, Nippon Paints, he's a general manager and he's very happy to be on board uh, with Sri Lanka Rugby. Nemantha, this tournament, it's only your second year of sponsorship. It was a COVID year that you started off with. This is the first full year uh, that you've been a sponsor. How have you seen this tournament going? Well, as uh, Shane said, uh, very well. We are happy to be on board for the second year. I think SLR and uh, Tournament Committee has done a wonderful job, uh, done justice to the sponsors. And uh, um, Sri Lanka has a very passionate following for rugby. I mean, it, has, it is a century and a half old in Sri Lanka. And uh, you can go back to our fathers, forefathers, <laughs> all have played rugby and uh, I'm a passionate support as well. So it's uh, bite well for the game and uh, we are happy to be part of this year's tournament and as well as in future as well. Uh, Nippon Paints is a relatively new name in the rugby field. Uh, Nemantha, how do you feel about your uh, introduction to rugby? How has it been working with uh, Sri Lanka rugby and how have you seen uh, the, the value for your brand growing? I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a good value, good value addition. As I said, uh, the passionate following adds value to our band. And uh, of course, uh, it gives us opportunity to we get highlighted in sports arena. We've been supporting cricket, motor racing, hockey and uh, so many sports. So uh, just after coming out of COVID, just to see young people trying to showcase their talents and come forward, uh, it's good to see where that we are there to support them. So uh, that Sri Lankan youth, we need them. We need to keep them in Sri Lanka as well. So we need to keep them going, we need to support them, we need to make sure that they are budding talent, we keep them here and so it's, it's part of our responsibility to support youth and sport in Sri Lanka. Thank you very much, Ramanta. That's a very noble aspiration, and I hope uh, everybody appreciates that from uh, Nippon Paints, the sponsors of this Nippon Paints Rugby League. We'll get back to the action on the field with uh, CRNFC and CHNFC live from the race course to Mr. Shane Dullava and Mr. Nemanta Basing. It's thank you, and we'll be back with the action.
Welcome back to the race course. We are here in the uh, Nippon Paints Rugby League 22-23 season and it's going to be a cracker of a game continuing here at the race course with the rain threatening to come over, the wind blowing in the faces and at the backs of the CH team uh, in the first half and at their backs at the second half, I should say. Chatur Seniratna, who has been in the center of uh, quite a few of the points scoring for Sierra FC, will kick off the second half in what is going to be a very interesting period of the game, especially with one of their key forwards in the sin bin for Sierra uh, Dinuk and with the wind at their back. This is the point that CH and FC have to come back into this game. Yeah, just uh, absolutely look at that kick that Hirusha Sampath has gained almost 40 to 45 meters Shanak, on that occasion. He was struggling to do that from this side of the field, put that extra effort to breach this CH line now. And if do so, it is uh, going to be a very, very interesting affair come the second half as uh, CH have uh, bought in Kilan Chamath as well on the left wing. And that ball is uh, completely overthrown. Supon Vannakula Surya will have to get used to uh, the wind again. And uh, it's interesting that he's made his way to the starting lineup. This has been his Achilles heel. He's been a very good player in the loose, but somehow hasn't been able to get this aspect of his game right. Lahiru Pavitra is on the bench, as is Kavin Srivikum, and uh, coach Rishant Luike will probably be looking to his bench early on in the second half. Avish Kali again feeds from the right of the scrum, favored side for CH. Lovely little angle run by Johnny the Dilshan, Ovin Hetti Arachi. That ball goes back from the hand. So the fact that it went forward didn't really matter. But it looks like the referee has called it. And that was a little too flashy, isn't it, uh, by York Weber? Because he had two on the outside. They had he run straight, there would have been some opportunity. Something that uh, Sudarshan Mututantri is not very happy of your sc screens. We're going to see why Ovin Hetty Arachi hasn't touched the ball more than maybe once in this game. And with just his second touch, he tries that little Sonny Bill Williams move, or Carlos Spencer move. I don't think even Sonny Bill did that. Uh, but that's not what you want from uh, young players. You want them to stick to the basics and do it right when you've got the opportunity. Big drive from CH and F. There's really nothing to be uh, shown for it, though, because the referee has deemed that Dushman Pradashana was driving up. You can see the big number two and the number three. That's uh, the captain Prasad Madhushanka and the experienced Dushman Pradashana shaking their heads as they walk away. Driving up, says the referee, and CR will look to just extend their lead against the wind. So this is a brave kick, Dinuk. Yeah, very interesting call, uh, Shanaka. Uh, so Chatura Seniviratna pre-game was kicking to the opposite side where they were attacking in the first half. Got a lot of kicks right, but he tried one from this area. Of course, had the distance at that occasion, but not the direction. So now this is going to be very, very crucial kick. Not the easiest for a right foot kicker as well. He has to hook that to his left. So this is a good, uh, another good 50 meters, I would think, on the angle. Yes, absolutely. Referee are also at the top of your screen getting ready to chase this kick. And it's well wide. But it will force CHNFC to kick back. So not sure this whether that was a tactic as well, knowing that even if the three points didn't come, that they would have the opportunity to get this ball back. Sudarshan Mutatantri has been in better shape. He's getting on a bit. 
You can see that off the back of the scrum, he's probably not as explosive as he used to be. Something that he probably needs to work on as well. As Hirusha Sampat will drop this ball out. Yeah, how far this kick will go is uh, will uh, determine the wind as well. And this is what uh, CH were facing, backpedaling. Here is Chetia. Gavin Chetia runs straight into Samuel Ogbebo, and that looks like it's a mall. It is. So Chetia didn't do well enough there. Needed to go to ground. So you could see again that time Chathura Saniratna thought he had it covered and the ball just sailed over his head. So the sooner these players settle down and realize that the wind is a factor that they've got to accept and adapt to, the better for both teams. It yeah, looks like the back three would have to step back another five meters behind. The scrums have uh, been evenly contested in the sense that the referee has given a similar number of penalties against each team. This time, Avish Kali will feed the scrum from the left side, the traditional way. So just trying to get an extra player into the line there. Ball looked like it might have gone slightly forward, but Johnny Dudilshan has run onto it and broken the first line of defense. Good to see him wanting to really make an impact, Dilshan. I think Dinu Kamarasingh has probably gone off, which is why Janidu has moved into the number 13 position and Samuel Ogbebo to number 12. It's a big loss for CH. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. Hirusha Sampath running behind his player. And well done there by Ravin De Silva, who managed to poach that ball at the breakdown. And Kamidu De Costa now has a little bit of an opportunity to run. Janidu that time unable to deal with the bounce of the ball. So Sia will have an attacking line out, although they've opted for the scrum because there is a knock on as well as the ball going into touch, so the attacking team gets the option. Yeah, a little bit of laziness there from Ovin Hetiarachi, just flirting with the touch line as well. So something that uh, the boys uh, need to pick up here from both teams as uh, CH have uh, quite a bit of catching up to do as well. So it looks like they have made a change at the back of the scrum and Lasindu Ishan has come in as a half-time substitute as he picks up, floats the ball across to Manuel Karuberu. A little bit of space going straight through the gap there was Gamanu Chetia. Lasin Duvishan again. Here's Costa. Chatura Seniviratna puts the ball to his boot. It's a long in goal area. And eventually getting across and getting his boot to the ball is Jani Dudilshan. Murshid Zubair seems to want a yellow card, but he's not going to get one. Not sure what he was asking it for because I thought that was a good bit of a center back tackle coming in from Johnny Dilshan. Beautiful run by Richard Ekanayaka there. Couldn't believe the space he found himself in. Thought for all money that uh, Avantali was offside there. Here's Chatura just putting the ball to boot. It was a good kick. The wingers were calling for it. And it was a good intervention from Johnny Dilshan. Sure, Otto Mendy would have been proud of that tackle. Twenty-two meter restart for CHNFC. That's a good opportunity that she uh, will think that they would have missed. Uh, Sampat now 
will want to get his team out of jail. Puts in flat once again. This time Zubel takes it clearly. Looks to run it back now. Gavin Uchetia, he's been dangerous with the ball in hand. It's good to see him with the ball in hand a little bit more often. But that ball was picked off beautifully by Owen Hetiarachi. Just tripped over his own feet and couldn't make it to the line. But that would have been a game-changing intervention if the young winger could have held on to the ball. Lee to his brother. That time, unfortunately for CH, they lose their feet. Koda Goda who went to ground there. Surya Dorangoda takes it into contact. And now CH are trying to string a few phases together. Got another penalty coming their way. The ruck was formed, so they had no right to that ball, did uh, CRNFC. And CH will point to the post immediately. And this is why it was such a good ploy to take that kick at the end of halftime, Dinuk, because 20 points to 9, and then suddenly you're 20 points to 12. And before you know it, you're just one score away. Yes, exactly. A bit of concern for Hetiarachi on the far side. He's holding the shoulder, the left shoulder of his. Probably landed on a very sensitive uh, edge of the shoulder. As Sampat has the opportunity just outside the 40 meter mark, dead straight from the black dot. So he's going to be given a bit more confidence from the wind at his back, although the wind has died down just at this present moment. Distance shouldn't be a problem. We've seen him kick these in the school season. Distance is not a problem at all, and uh, it's a wonderful kick from Hirusha Sampat. 20 points to 12. And CHNC very much back in this game. Magisha Vira Singer still in the sin bin for CR, so they are playing a man down. Replacement for CRNFC. Ashan Darling has been replaced. Lovely hanging kick from Chatra Sanyurata and the ball is uh, knocked forward. Good strength shown by, by Johan Okbeboy there to keep the man off the floor. But referee says that there was no release of Lahiru Pavitra. Kavindu Dukasa taking it quickly. Looking to inject some pace into this game. That was unexpected from Costa. And here's uh, the new man coming onto the park, who is uh, Srivikum, Kavin Srivikum, Richard Ekanayaka. Lovely, uh, Tenu Kananayaka, rather lovely hands. And superb ball from uh, Murshid Zubair for Gamanu Chetia to run it into the corner. And you can see just as they injected that pace, coming to De Costa, seeing a little bit of urgency, and Gamanu Chetia getting his second try of the game. Lovely hands from. Uh, Tenuka Naneakara as well. Yeah, the difference there is uh, Shanaka. Tenuka ran to the line. He sucked in the defense. Look at that dummy run of Manilka Ruberu. He Tenuka then sucked in about three plays. This was a very crucial pass. Zuber had sh could have had the pace to go around the last line of uh, defense, but uh, unselfishly puts that ball to Gamunu Chetia, who had all the time and space in the world. Uh, to score that try on the left, on the right flank. Zubair is still arguing his point about the yellow card. <laughs> Did you see him somewhere on the law school? <laughs> no, I, I think he might be trying to get in. <laughs> not a bad player to have in your team, isn't it? Certainly the law not. College team. Certainly not. And they need, uh, they need someone like him because the lawyer's team is starting the Ratwatta in it now. So <laughs> they need someone to offset him. Oh, that's a brilliant kick by Chatura Sanivirat. An absolutely outstanding kick from the right touchline. 
You can see why he's in the side. Really good hands from this talented CR backline. Finally, seeing them springing into action, and it's good to see Kavinder De Costa. He was such a nippy player. Suddenly, got caught into that trap of box kicking every single time. And it's really good to see him take that quick tap and just do something unexpected. Just yeah, Eastern FC took time to react. And that's exactly what Johnny the would want to do also on this CHNFC team. For all money, they would have thinking that Siav is going to go for the corner. But the skipper decided otherwise. Once again, he is Lassin Duvishan, managing to uh, counter that win factor this time. And Costa has started running from the 22 as well. That has given some confidence to the skipper. Almost managed to get free there as Rachid Adishan takes the ball on. This time, of course, he will probably look for a clearance kick. Gives it to Senior Ratna. And finds a safety also of the 40 meter line. A very good kick from the uh, fly half on that occasion. I was having a very interesting uh, conversation uh, with. Uh, Rodney about some stats of box kicking in Shanaka when you told me this is that the box kicking percentage has increased uh, from the 2003 World Cup to the 2019 World Cup and that is because if the ball is passed from the ruck to the fly half that they're losing about 10 meters there so that was a very interesting step and something that uh, the international teams are doing uh, quite a lot Yes, they don't want to sacrifice the fly half to put in an up and under. Here's Dore once again. Gets rid of the ball and uh, Chatra Senyurata puts his shoulder into the tackle. Good line speed from CH once again, forcing the pass over the top. Lahiru Pavitra, so Sia's bench featuring prominently here. Prasad Madhushanka, good tackle that time from uh, CH. Trying to really put some pressure. And now they've lost the ball, but they won't mind that too much. Now the Shankar hands it back. <laughs> Lahiru Pavitra was taking his own cool time getting back. And uh, with a plethora of players to pass to of his own team, the scrum half chose to pass it to the opposition. Probably why he's and uh, showing signs of little cramp as well and that's a good very good touch finder there by Sampath he's growing in confidence isn't he Sampath. yes you would with this kind of a wind behind you it's important to just stray restrain as well know exactly what it's uh, upset you but I'll tell you what, you, know, uh, you don't have this problem, but if you're a 95 or 100 kilo man, this is a very difficult ground to play on because every time you, you put your foot to the ground, um, it really does give, and that's why you have people like Lahiru Pavitra just coming onto the field who are having a few cramps. So it's like that ball was lost forward in the line out by CH. And that time Costa looks for the safety of touch. It's an excellent kick bouncing into the hands of Ruchi Rekanayaka. Costa looking for the cross kick. Good spotting of space there. Manil Karubero was the man who made that kick. And Avish Kali has to go back and does well to turn his body into an angle that he can clear it and finds the safety of the 22 meter line. So playing what's in front of them, CRNFC, saw the space and that lovely angular kick. Manuel Rubero is an excellent decision maker and it's good to have someone like him outside the likes of Tenukanane Akar. Absolutely, Shanaka. It just reminded me this, this particular kick, the cross field, high long distance kick 
He used to do this very often when he travels up to Pallakale because Pallakale also is a huge ground and he loves kicking and he puts those Isipatana fast Isipatana wings into space by doing this and just reminded me a glimpse of that and this and the and that uh, particular sequence of play as well from CRNFC. Rati Tajeshan doesn't manage to hold on to that ball. Lahiru Pavitra has taken over the throwing duties, but it's still an absolute shambles. The CR line out right in front of their bench as well, so Coach Luke will be shaking his head. We're moving into the last quarter of the game. As uh, CR and FC now will uh, look to shut this game down, play in the opposition territory, is what uh, Coach UK would have, will now send uh, the messages across. Make sure that CH work hard to get into your own half. So the man down is Jushmanta Priyadarshana. He's an old war horse. And he's been playing uh, for just about an hour now. Usually the time that props get a breather. They have players coming off the bench, but CH's bench is not as deep as CR's. So they will need their front rowers to keep going on. And as I said earlier, Dinuk, it's the big men that are having the problems here on this ground. And it's muscular stuff. It's like cramping up. It's nothing serious. And also a bit of rain made things worse just, just min minutes before or on kickoff. Senior Ratna talking to his team in defense. CH will need to score quickly. Here's Ogbe Boer being one of the standout players for this CH team. It's Lee. Ball went backwards. They're running it back through Richard Ekanayaka. In fact, uh, it's not Richard Ekanayaka. It is Richard Ekanayaka. Sorry about that. Good hands from the CR outside backs again. Looks like Gamunu Chetia has come off after his two try performance. And Ravin De Silva, really unnecessary penalty to concede there. It was Shehan Kalani Agoda, in fact. Thought play could really have gone on because there was not a material impact on the defense, but by the letter of the law, the referee was correct, calling that obstruction. Lovely kick once again from Sampath, bringing CH uh, on the 22 meter mark. He had brought them here before as well in this game, but from there on, the set piece has not functioned. And that's something, Shanaka, is very concerning for Sri Lanka rugby as a whole, isn't it? Very few teams are very good at set pieces where you get other teams at, who thrive on set pieces. Every set piece they get, they work on moves that they could score. Yes, it's thought to be the easiest point in the game to score from the first phase because you know where the opposition defense sets up. Surya Durangura with a good ball there. Referee again with a yellow card. And uh, it's Kavita de Costa who goes to the bench. The CR skipper, that's a big one. It's a huge loss for CR. They lost their captain and the scrum half. And another yellow card for talking. Looks like CR have suffered two yellow cards now for back chat. Whether it's chatting to the referee or the opposition, I don't know, but really shooting themselves in the foot here. Yeah, something that they were, they conceded the candy game as well because of that, because other than that, they were a far better team on that day. And today, I hope this doesn't come and bite them again in the last 15 minutes. Referee playing advantage. As CHNFC look to get their opening try on the board. 
Sri Vikum has done well. But the referee will come back for the original infringement, which uh, was coming in from the side. So CH will put the ball into touch, and they won't really fear the contesting CRNFC line-out because it hasn't been great. But with the likes of Soyuri Anthony in this side, you would expect that line-out to be a little bit better, Adinuk, and it's something that really hasn't worked. Experienced campaigner, Soyuri Anthony. Played for Havelocks, moved to Candy. Has come back to CRNFC. This is where the mall defense will be tested. Prasad Madhushanka is the man with the ball in hand. Yoshita Rajapaksa. Yes. So it's an interesting one now, isn't it, Dinuk? With the new rule, just get under the ball carrier and drag him over the line. So it's a dropout. Hmm. It's not a five meter scrum like it used to be. So, see, I have done well in defense so far, but they're a man down. Yoshita Rajapaksa goes again. Still going. Just couldn't reach out. Prasad Majushankar, so dangerous, close to the try line. Ceiling, says the referee. Going off your feet. So he wants to know which penalty CHNFC wants for offside. Prasad Madhushankar again is the big lads struggling on this pitch. CH having the best passage of play so far in this game. Sudarshana Mudatantri, the experienced man, looks to tap and go. He's met in a big tackle by Kalani Agoda. Forwards have changed their point of attack now for CH. This is where they will thrive. Uh, big forwards, experienced forwards. Couple of Sri Lanka players in that lineup, so they'll know exactly what they want to do. Yoshita Rajapaksa spinning towards the line. It's a real melee there. The referee's on the spot. He says, held up. But they will come back for a penalty. Not sure what it was for, but it will be a penalty. And they were likely to see some penalties given away by CRNFC here. Another advantage. Offside says the ref, Rajapaksa looking to get that ball over the line. And another penalty, so the referee will go to his pocket again. And uh, be lucky if we have five CR players left on the park when this is done. If they're not going to keep their discipline. So two key players, Shanaka, Manilka Ruberu and uh, skipper Costa are both on the sin bin. Probably Ruberu will not make it uh, again if the last few minutes run towards the 80. CH still attacking this CRNFC line. They'll know that against 13 men, even with 12 minutes left, a 15-point margin can be overhauled. Choosing to keep it with the forwards. Lahiru Pavitra that time coming away with the ball. Here's Avantali. They've lost about 20 meters, unfortunately, have CH. But they look to reset and restart. Mututantri. Ravin De Silva over that ball, but too late. And here's it over the top. And Murshid Zubair with a really crucial intervening hand there. He has been at his best, isn't it, today, Shanaka? Yeah, he has been good today. Clearance has been good. Passing has been good. Decision making has been good. And also making sure that he has uh, 
a good argument skill as well with with the referee it looks and like he might be going to the bin as well three on the bin ravin de silva also yellow card so sia playing with 12 against 15 well i was uh, exaggerating the look when i said we'll be lucky to have five cr players on the <laughs> on the pitch but i might not have been so far off the mark <laughs> lasindu ishan really needs to keep his cool and uh, ch now 15 men a uh, 15 points rather against 12 men surely there has to be a try in this for them Tantri goes off the back. Should probably have gone through the hands. Good run for Johan Ogbebor. He has been one of the standouts in the CH team today for sure. So it's slow ball from CH. And when, you've, when you're playing against 12 men, Dinuk, you want to stretch the play. You really want to stretch the play and make sure that you take them end to end because you've got three extra men on the overlap. Why do you want to keep it with you and keep um, keep busting it forward? One out. Yeah, and especially three key positions, a center, a scrum off, and a number eight is out of the park. So CH and FC, in fact, in the second half, they have had a lot of territory and position but none uh, turning towards points. So Sia looking to try and get a flanker into onto this side. They probably shoot opposite Yoshita Rajapaksa. CH trundling that one forward as you'd expect. Lasindu Ushan does brilliantly. And it is a penalty, so they will come back for it. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be uh, another yellow card. It's number six for Sia. Has used his hand in the ruck. I think that's what the referee is saying. Yes, if you can see that again, we'll definitely show it to you. But as you'll expect with a seven-man scrum against an eight-man scrum, you're under pressure and that's uh, a real problem. It's a good call if they, if they run this ball out wide. It's going to be an overlap easily on either side of the park. See how we'll have to make sure that they allow them to score but not convert. So try and make them score on the corners. That's the only thing they can do in this situation. Mutu Tantri picks and goes. Referee almost gets in the way. So, referee Atavara doing all the work by just being in the field of vision there. Yeah, it was a lovely move, 8, 9, 14. There was ample space. Again, trying those miracle passes, uh, uh, Shanaka. Through the hands, a little bit deep. Running lines would have done the trick easily. Absolutely, Dinuk. Very simple 8 9 14 move would have had them in in the corner, score the try, and then come back. And it looks like the sin bin of Kavin de Costa is over, and uh, looks like we have someone trying to join this CRNFC scrum. <laughs> and, uh, looks like he knew they were, they were, <laughs> they were a <laughs> man shot. <laughs> uh, still not given up. Yep. Given the phrase gone to the dogs, a whole new meaning. <laughs> but this time it's Vidun Amanet who comes off the bench in 
place of the substituted captain, Kavindu de Costa, found himself in the bin for a unnecessary word or two. And that's a penalty for CRNFC. Not sure why Lasan Duvishan wants to take this one quickly. Surely he'll want to put this into touch and buy himself some time. Referee saying he took it from the wrong mark. And it was an illegal drive from the loose head prop. Not for the first time in this game, uh, Shanaka. CH have been con CH conceded two penalties already. And the kick has been good to the 40 meter mark. 40 meter mark against the wind as well from Chatura Sanivratha. That was well done. And Sia have really managed to weather the storm there. Sri Vikum, it's a tapped line out ball. Tenukanane Akara has to run up to it and gives a bit of a hospital pass, I have to say. Lasindu Ishan is up to it and manages to find himself. In among his forwards, Vidun Amanet thinks better of running it. And actually, it's a very good box kick down into the corner, forcing Avant Ali. And Prasad Madhushankar was about three miles in front of the kicker there, for sure. That's a sensible call from CRNFC. They should take the penalty and put that into touch instead of going for the scrum, but they've opted for the scrum instead. Referee, uh, sorry, Coach Loke communicating to his team from the bench. You can see the entire CRNFC team, even though they're 15 points up, know that this game is far from over with just five minutes left you think it was but it's a lot of factors that probably think that make them think that they are still very much the underdogs to win this Amanet feeds into the scrum it's not a great pass to Tenukanane Akara but the uh, angled ball short ball is not a good one and uh, this is what i was saying they probably should have gone for that penalty thump that ball deep into the 22 and then seen what they could do here been some flashes of brilliance but it has been a turgid game hasn't it uh Dinuk? a lot of stop start yeah most games this season has been like that uh, uh shanaka and Yes, there have been a lot of complaints about the, uh, the officiating as well. But that goes with the players as well of making minimal mistakes. If you're knocking on every other minute, then the referee has no other choice than whistling. Yes, I'd really love to see some statistics on the amount of penalties and the ball in play time in this game. Sudarsh and Amutha Tantri just trying to go maybe half a yard too much. It looks like it came off. The boot, says the referee. And here's Johnny the Dilshan. First time we've seen him in a little bit of space in this half. Avantali up in the line. Kavin Srivikum asked to leave it and he does. Good discipline from the... It was a huge tackle but bouncing right back to his feet was Avantali. Looks like there might be a head injury there to Lahiru Pavitra. That ball not finding touch. And Murshid Zuber thumps it straight up the field, but the whistle has gone. <coughs> Chatura Seniratna again having a conversation with the referee who is in turn having a conversation with his assistant. Unfortunately, can't hear the content of this conversation today. 
And Lassen Duvishan really needs to get back. He was sent off at a crucial time against Kandy. And Chatra Saniviratna will go to the bin. Yoshita Rajapaksa comforting Chatra Saniviratna as he goes to the bin. Not sure what that infringement was, but if we can see it again, we'll tell you what the touch judge may have. We can speculate as to what the touch judge may have said. It's not a big touch finder, so they've still got a good 15 meters to go. Yeah, but uh, they don't have the time uh, on their side, Shanak. It's almost uh, time up, probably the last play or two remaining. Well, there's uh, messy time or Fergie time, as it used to be called. So, anything could happen, Dinuk. This is the Nippon Paints Rugby League. And we've seen some interesting conclusions. Really is a lottery at this point, isn't it? As to which way the penalty is going to go. You know the Amanet as well. Achit Radishan. Amanet thumps this ball into touch. And CH continue their quest to try and get over the goal line. As the rain comes down here at Racecourse. Yeah, it's, uh, we, were, we were talking about the talented backline of CH and it's a shame that they have not been able to cross the CR line today given so many opportunities and every time in the last 20 minutes there have been two CR players on the bin. Ball uh, has been lost forward and although Vidun Amanet had it, the referee chose to blow rather than play advantage there. As the rain comes down a little heavier, there's been a bit of injury time in the second half, so not sure how much time the referee has on his clock. We must let you know that the clock at the top of your screen is just an indication. It's not the official time. Amanet. Ruberu. Putting the ball to boot and looked like it might have been in front of the kicker there. Lucky to get away with that one. And getting across for another good football World Cup tackle is Avant Ali. I thought that the number 11, coming to Yasas, could maybe have held that ball instead of putting his boot to it at the last time of asking. Yeah, once again, uh, Sia have turned the CH defense. Every time, turn the TH defense around. Every kick behind off that rush defense. So something that Sia have managed to adapt during the game. Because CH had some thundering tackles in that first few minutes of the match. Well, just grabbing at the ball again. No real intent to catch it and another crooked throw. So there are a few things that CR really have to work on. One is their discipline. They've had three yellow cards for pretty much nothing here today. And that's entirely their own doing. They've been spoken to by the referee, told not to talk back or talk to the opposition or uh, speak any profanities. And they've chosen to do that. And also their line out, which has let them down. And despite that, they're still up 27 points to 12 on the scoreboard. CH really need to get their back line into play. Johan Ogbebo on the top of your screen. Some really good young talented Wesleyites in the CH back line. And they really need to get them playing together. And running the ball a little bit more. I think Sudarshan and Mututantri at the base. This maybe hogged the ball a little bit too much. That's not a good pass at all. And uh, Murshid Zubair. We'll chase Hirusha Sampath. 
And the ball may beat everyone into touch. In fact, it doesn't, and it looks like CHS first try. Yes, it is. It was Janindu Dilshan stayed in the fight even in the 85th minute. He's chasing the ball down, and you can see the results of his hard work as CHNFC finally in the 85th minute get their first try. Yeah, once again today the mantra has been to kick and chase. Sampat saw Dilshan inside. There were four CR players chasing that, but this had to go out but it bounced and had an awkward bounce where the chaser couldn't kick it but Dilshan was there at the right spot to touch that ball down had did he have enough uh, downward pressure the more slower the replays are the more inconclusive the decision will be well downward pressure is no longer part of the requirement you you just have to you have to just touch the ball down I think on the face of it, Johnny the Dilshan looked like he did get that one down. You don't even have to be in the field of play if you're not holding the ball. But that's the final action for the game. Hirusha Netmina puts the conversion over and gets CHNFC within eight points. So they don't get a losing bonus point, unfortunately. Gihan Yatavara has a laugh because uh, he enjoyed that last try, I'm sure. Plenty of running done by uh, both sets of forwards. And that's the full-time score. 27 points to 19 in this Nippon Paints Rugby League clash between CHNFC and CRNFC. Live from this race course grounds, thank you very much for joining us on adzart.lk and Sri Lanka Rugby Tuskers. The YouTube channel and CH coming into this game trying to get another win move them closer to the top of the table but CR and FC after some good recruitment in the close season by their administration have kept their winning ways came back against police last week and this time led from the start scored a couple of good tries Gamanu Chetia scoring two important tries for his team Murshid Zubair the other one Chatra Seniviratna an outstanding performance as well this is the First kick of the second half, Dinuk. Yeah, Hirusha Sampat nailed that well. And this was Murshid Zubera, probably the best player of the match today. Having Cheti out wide, that was his last touch of the match, Gamuru Chetia. And then absolutely nothing happened for the next 30 minutes. A kick and chase. Janin Dilshan made sure that he was there right at the end and touch that ball down to score that try so here's what the analysis looks like three tries to one three conversions to one some excellent kicking off the tee from Chatra Seniviratna and Hirusha Sampath uh, four penalties for CH all put over by Hirusha and uh, no drop goals of course in this game but uh, what kept CHNFC in the game was the three yellow cards that were given to uh, CRNFC really bad discipline from them and despite the line out shambles uh, they were able to come out winners and ch will have to go back to the drawing board and look at their personnel sheet and just see how they can bring their game breakers those x-factor players more into the game and really from their point of view a really uh, impressive performance uh, one for the future from johan ogbe bordinuk yes absolutely he looks uh, very promising in that 12 jersey of course, even uh, Ovin Hetiarachi on that wing. So two good prospects we are looking at. Probably in the seventh circuit, uh, given the size of both of them. As uh, the rains have, uh, there's a slight drizzle. Also the beautiful sunset in the skylines of Colombo. We are coming to you live from, uh, we came to you live from race course, of course. It's like you said, uh, Shanaka, good prospects in the CH and also on the CR team as well. Zubair has uh, picked up uh, another notch in his performance this season so far. Chetia has uh, come up to his level best as well. And Seniviratna is uh, making sure that the kicks and the territory are covered properly. So both these teams have a lot to look forward to especially CR and FC they need to get through this first round unbeaten from here onwards and then uh, it'll be all important game that uh, have that we used to look forward to in our 
time, see how was this candy up in Nittwala, where we start filling the seats at 2 p.m. Well, uh, those times are gone, uh, Dinuk, they certainly have, but up in Nittwala, I'm sure you start uh, filling the seats from 2 p.m., regardless of whoever's playing there. But following, of course, from uh, the uh, Nittwala crowd for their champion candy team, and they were looking to defend their title, of course, they were lucky to escape with a win. Uh, at uh, Longdon Place a couple of weeks ago and uh, they will be holding that uh, in good stead at the top of the points table but still other teams that could come in and spring surprises. Havelocks are a team that are getting better and better with each week and then of course we have Navy who are an unknown quantity and on the day they can probably beat anyone and let's not forget this Air Force team. They came up short against police yesterday but they have been uh, really a giant killing uh, team in the recent past. Yeah, the forces have been uh, uh, have been uh, very promising this season as well. That's because they were training throughout uh, uh, and had the luxury of playing games uh, early before the other clubs uh, did so. Uh, yes, like you said, Shanaka, CHNFC and Havelocks are the two key games that uh, for Candy Sports Club to keep uh, their title race as they have to travel down to Colombo to play both these teams. Uh, in the coming weeks. So those are going to be cracker games as well. And for CR and FC, they have to make sure that they keep this momentum going on. Have locks also in the title race as well in third. So it's going to be a very closely contested league, probably after a very long time, uh, the Nippon Paint uh, Rugby League. Well, that's it uh, from us live from the race course. It's nice to see more trees than skyscrapers in uh, the background. And uh, this is Colombo skyline, not Manhattan's. And thank goodness for that. Thank you very much for joining us on uh, this Nippon Paints Rugby League broadcast. Uh, thanks very much to adzart.lk and Sri Lanka Rugby Tusker's YouTube channel as well for hosting this live coverage. We'll be back next week. Until then, from Dinuk Bhaskaran and myself, it's goodbye for now. Largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. The li life is meant to be lived to the fullest. Live with the joy. Live with nature. Live with hope. Live with trust. Live with dreams. Live with happiness. Inspire your life with colors. Nippon Paint. Play to win the game. We'll take care of your aches and pains. Sidale Per Spray. Trusted for eight decades for quick relief from all aches and pains. Nippon Paints. Live with colors. Nippon Paints. Live with colors.